Okay, in our last video, we created our sprite, we'd set the name of our sprite, and we'd set the size. In this video, we're going to make a maze as our background, which won't take very long. When you click in the bottom corner here, where it says choose a backdrop, we're going to choose paint. We're going to click on paint. You'll see it takes me into the same painting tool I was in for the sprite. This time, I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. I'm going to choose a fill color. It doesn't matter what color you want, but it does matter that it's a solid color. Later on, we're going to want to make this um, be sensed by the crocodiles. When it touches a certain color, um, certain outcomes will happen. So although images like this one are quite interesting, we can't use those. So solid color, choose the color we want, set the outline to no outline. And then all I need to do is make a series of rectangles. You can see they kind of make a border or a frame around the edge. So that's the edge of my maze. And then I can just pull some rectangles in, move a bit wider, move it up and down a bit using the arrow key. And there we go, I've got a very simple maze. Now at the moment, my crocodile doesn't really fit, so I may need to resize the crocodile a little bit, or I might need to move the maze around, but I've now got a maze. Just to make this really nice, instead of this being called backdrop two, let's rename this as maze. And that's our first backdrop ready to go.